Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Sydney. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my updated medical grade skincare routine. So if you're new to my channel, I have been using medical grade skincare since last May or June. Here are my before and after videos side by side. As you can see, I definitely have way more of a glow to my skin. So it's been over a year. So I actually uploaded a video of my skincare routine last December and since then it has changed so I've added three more products to help with my breakouts and it's helped really well for me I mean everyone's skin's different so just because it works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you but this is just what I've been doing and what honestly really got my skin back to a good place just a disclaimer these products are a little bit more expensive being medical grade but it just kind of goes with the territory of having higher active ingredients I mean honestly Sephora makeup's pretty freaking expensive too and I feel like this is way more effective so it's worth the money in my opinion. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get on with the video. here is what I look like right out of the shower without washing my face or anything the first thing that I use is the Zio exfoliating cleanser I use this both morning and night just to get all the nasty dirt off of my face and it's best for normal to oily skin especially if you're trying to get rid of breakouts but I've used this since the beginning of using Zio so it's over a year now and it has worked really well for me. So this is meant to clear away surface oil and impurities without leaving skin feeling stripped or dry. And I totally just read that or got that from my brain and didn't read it off the website or anything. <laughs> for real, I've been using this from the get-go and even if I just used this and didn't follow up with anything afterwards, at least my skin feeling so clean and soft and smooth. So the next thing that I do is I use my Zio exfoliating polish. You're supposed to use this every single morning. I probably use it like every couple of days because I'm trying to conserve product and honestly my skin has still been super smooth even doing that but this is just supposed to remove dead skin and help smooth and make your skin glowy and honestly this is one of my favorite Zio products I can notice an immediate difference my skin is so soft to the touch and it just has like a glow to it after I use this so I love this product so after I finish washing my face and drying it off, I use the Zio Daily Power Defense. This is a powerful antioxidant serum designed to improve the appearance of lines and wrinkles and promote overall skin health. <laughs> so this really just brings moisture back to my skin and it's a great first product to help prep my skin for the rest of the day. And I have been using this since I started using Zio and I really love it. My skin used to be pretty dry and I feel like since removing traditional moisturizers and just using this regimen, my skin has been just normal. It hasn't been dry, it hasn't been oily, it's just been perfecto. The next thing I use is my under eye cream. This is Neocutis Lumiere eye cream and this has worked really well for my under eyes. I just use the smallest amount on both under eyes, both under my eyes as well as on my eyelids. Guys, I used to have like eczema around my eyes. They were so freaking dry. And since I've started using medical grade under eye cream, I've noticed such a big difference. I no longer have just like red around my eyes and crusties and I love it. So this is the first new product that's part of my skin care routine. This is the Epionce Light Lytic TX Moisturizer. I'm just going to read you guys from the website. This is a retexturizing lotion which is supposed to help with rosacea, hypersensitive skin, aging skin, fine lines, and wrinkles. It also has salicylic acid and azelaic acid in it. I think that the salicylic acid is what has really helped with my breakouts and this has really just helped restore a smoother texture to my skin. I mean it's hard to say whether or not this alone help my skin but this combined with the three other products has really worked wonders for me so here I am after I complete my skincare routine in the morning looking like a glazed donut but I'm not done yet the last thing I do is I use my glow screen from super goop this is 40 SPF I love using this especially underneath my makeup it makes a really good primer a nice glowy base it also has a tint to it which is good it helps even out my skin tone which I cannot complain about that if you have have oily skin I probably wouldn't recommend this but this works well for me I look very very shiny afterwards though but if you wait like 
a little bit give it like 10 minutes and I feel like the shine isn't as intense but it's especially good underneath makeup but I will leave the house with this just on my face glowing like a disco ball I don't know does that say something about me as a person maybe but I've been using the sunscreen for a while I should use it more often than I do I don't use it every single day but I should be I basically just wear it when I know I'm gonna be out in the sun and that is it guys that is the end of my morning skincare routine congratulations you made it to the end I know it's a little bit involved but this has been working really well for me hello peeps so the first thing that i do for my nighttime routine is i use this sweet apple cleanser from pharmacy and honestly it's amazing i just got it from the sephora vib sale and it smells just like sweet apples believe it or not which is like one of my favorite scents i just use this to remove all of my makeup as my first cleanser so far hasn't made me break out so so far so good <laughs> i do wear waterproof mascara and it takes off most of it i really have to concentrate on my eyelashes to get it all off and then here I am looking like a crazy person, of course. I'm going to wipe off all that nasty um, grease off of my face. And then I dry it off and I follow up with my Neutrogena face wipe. So I mostly use these to get all of the leftover mascara because, guys, I don't know. I guess I probably could get it all off with the pharmacy if I really, really tried. But this really just seals the deal for me. And then it also just get any other makeup that I have on my face because I really don't want that on there when I'm about to go in with my next cleanser. So after I get all of the makeup off of my face, I double cleanse with the Zeo Exfoliating Cleanser and I use this morning and night. So yeah, this is the second time you see in this puppy. But once again, I just wash my face, get all remaining dirt and surface oil off of it and make sure I'm feeling fresh as a baby. And then at the end of this, honestly, I feel like if I stopped here, my skin feels so soft and so smooth to the touch and it has a glow to it even after just these steps. So the next thing that I use are the oil control pads acne treatment from Zio. This is actually another one of the new products that I've added into my skincare routine to help with my acne and I really think it's been working. Before I just used the regular complexion renewal pads but this one just has salicylic acid added into it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm supposed to use this morning and night but uh, I'm you know, I'm just being honest here. What I usually do is cut it in half and use half a pad a day, just, you know, conserve treatment. And that has been working just fine for me, but this is a toner that is supposed to help reduce acne and it really has been working well for me. It has 2% salicylic acid in it and after I use it I feel a cooling sensation and honestly that will last a few minutes or so, but you just feel so refreshed and that just gets rid of any other oil and dirt that I have on my face. So the third and final new product I have in my routine is the Alpharet Overnight Cream. And you know what? I'm just going to read it from the website and let you know what it's supposed to do <laughs> and let you know if that's what it actually does. So it says, this is a skincare cream that features a unique ingredient that is made up of a retinoid combined with an alpha hydroxy acid that provides visible skin rejuvenation with little to no irritation. I agree with that. My skin has not been irritated at all. I just apply this every night and it's supposed to improve the appearance of lines, wrinkles, uneven tone and texture. And I think that is really what it has been doing. My skin has just felt a lot more even and less textured since using it and also I've had less breakout so it's really helped my skin and the reduction of acne for me. I am shocked and appalled that I completely forgot about this new product when I said I only introduced three new ones. This is Zio's Acne Control 10% Benzoyl Peroxide and honestly this is probably the most game changing of them all. This is just a spot reduction treatment that you put on pimples overnight. I feel like when I wake up in the morning the pimples are already going away or it's already smaller. It's incredible. I definitely recommend it this I just apply this on my face whenever I feel like I have a pimple coming on or if I already have an active breakout and I feel like it really helps shorten the lifespan of the pimple if it's already present or prevent future breakouts if I just put it on before one even like pops up to the surface so this is the Lumiere Neo Cutis eye cream it's the same one I use in the morning it's supposed to help prevent fine lines and wrinkles guys I'm 25 I don't know if that's happening I'm gonna be honest with you but I just apply this on 
my under eyes and on my eyelids morning and night I do have pretty dry under eyes so I need to be pretty regimented with this or I do notice a difference I know this is not skincare related but I just had to mention it the last part of my nighttime routine is to use Latisse I actually have a full video uploaded about my Latisse journey and I've been on it for probably seven months now and I've noticed the biggest difference but basically I just use one drop of Latisse on both of my eyes I just put it on my top lash line and then also my eyebrows so you're supposed to see maximum results after 16 weeks of use and this is a question that I got now that I've gone past those 16 weeks I do just use Latisse a few times a week to maintain my results so I'll probably use it like two or three times a week and my lashes are just as long as they were when I was using them every single day so I love Latisse highly recommend I have a full video on it if you want to see how long it took me to get full results and all that jazz. So 10 years later, that is my full nighttime skincare routine. And here I am right after. I feel like my skin just looks so smooth, so glowy, and so ready for bed. Hey guys, that was the video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. I will be uploading a year on medical grade skincare video, just like overall thoughts and opinions on it and my journey and how I feel after a year of using it and more specifics about how my skin's changed. I hope this video helped you guys out. It's not too different from what my skincare used to be, but those three products really did make a difference in my skin. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. I upload videos every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you know where to find me. So I will see you guys next week. Peace out. Bye, haters. Peace.